and see if this stuff sticks. Hey guys, it's your queen of awkward introductions here with another video on Project Teeter Tot, my Audi TT Quattro project car. For those of you who are new to my channel, there's a link stuck to the ceiling on a playlist for this project to get you caught up. Everybody else, I'm just gonna put in some work today. If you're wondering what I'm doing under the TT right now with my bun stuck to the, the exhaust, my bun was rubbing on the exhaust. When I tuned the TT on the last video on the TT before the rear seat delete video, yeah, buddy. <laughs> put a stage two, quote unquote, stage two tune on here. I hate using the stage terms for tunes but I ran into an issue where I'm still throwing a code for the secondary O2 sensor. P1114 and P1118. I have this 90 degree elbow I'm going to throw on there. Ugh. Which should remove it from the stream. It's an idea actually one of you guys suggested I try just in case it's not addressed in the tune itself. So that's what we're gonna do. 22, sun's out, bun's out. Where is the 22? Whatever, all these adjustable. Good to go. Just gonna go ahead and clear all the codes and see if it pops back up because it was coming up immediately upon reset. So try that first. If it does come back, then I'll go back down there and do my voltage readings. What is up with my hair right now? I look like a coconut that rolled down a paved hill. Here it goes. It's back. There it is. I need to do some research and some voltage checks and figure this problem out. I was hoping it was really simple because uh, I was going to move on to doing the flock in the rear of the car. But dude, everything on this car is complicated. pending DTCs. Maybe it was just a loose connection or maybe this hasn't come back yet. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's fixed. No more check engine light. And it's the next day. Time to go back to work. So in the last video you saw where I created this rear seat delete for the back of the TT, I ran into an issue where I still have some hardware that attaches the seat delete to the frame of the car right where these little bumps are at. So I'm gonna take care of that problem first and then we'll move on to flocking. Carpet. All right, how can I do this? Hmm. This thing fits so well, I'm actually beginning to wonder if I even need this little bracket. The way I currently have it set up, the rear seat delete panel bolts to the car on these little mounts on the side. It's almost like a factory roll bar or some kind of like structural rigidity bar that's on either side and it, it's supposed to bolt down there but it hasn't been bolted down this entire time and I drove it a couple times already and it hasn't moved around. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to peel this felt crap off of this panel so it's just the wood that's underneath it. I'm pretty sure it's like particle board or MDF or something under here. Here goes nothing. Came off. I'm sure now you wanna be durable. And that was after taking a carpet cleaner to it. What is that? That is this, what is that? That is so gross. Need to make sure this thing is lined up perfectly. I think that's gonna be it right there. 
Before I go and spray this adhesive on, I wanna make sure I have this rear piece of carpet stretched out exactly where I want it. So that way I don't screw myself. So I guess it's time to get to gluing. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. interior mods on cars. This is like cool. You don't see a lot of these on YouTube. Once this thing down here is covered in the black flock material, it's going to be really nice. Like really nice seam. And I'm also going to do this rear panel with the black flock also. Next up, after I do the flock on the interior on this thing, uh, I need to get seats for this car. I don't know if I should recover these factory seats because they're kind of heavy and they don't have that good of bolstering. So I was thinking of like some Recaro SR3s, possibly. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about some good uh, budget racing seats for this car that will still have a reclining function. And um, I'm gonna try to modify them to keep the heating elements from the factory seats. I'll just put them into the new racing seats so they're heated. <laughs> I spent the entire day today doing this rear carpet, but it's done and I'm excited. It looks really good. Now I gotta do the sides in the back with flock. Hello. So next morning, I said I was gonna put in some work at the beginning of this video and I'm sticking to it. So. I'm doing a live stream today, you've already seen it, but I did that so I could do more work in this video. So there's less talk and more work. Speaking of which, it's time for me to flock this stuff up. <laughs> I vaguely have a clue of what the flock I'm doing. So uh, the main important part that I know with anything that you're going to be using glue, I have to sneeze while well, I swallowed it. Probably come out with a fart later. For my first attempt at it, I see areas I need to improve on and areas that worked well. I didn't put a thick enough coat, I don't think, of the adhesion promoter 
stuff. Maybe it'll be fine after I brush it off. You have to let it sit 10 to 15 hours now, I think. I mean, it looks splotchy all over, but a lot of it is probably excess material that's sitting on there that has to be brushed off after it dries. So I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I don't know if I did a good job or not. So this panel right here had quite a bit of like chips and nicks and gouges and stuff in the plastic. So I just went over a 400 grit sandpaper. Plus it's a high traffic area because it's at the edge of where you put stuff into the back hatch of the car. So I roughed it up with 400 grit and then hopefully that will smooth things out and help this adhesion glue paint stuff to stick better. garage looks like somebody has assassinated the Muppet penguins in here. It is, it's bad. I think this one's gonna come out better. I have a good feeling about this panel. It's looking pretty good. So now I just gotta let it sit here and hang for, well, until tomorrow. I gotta try to collect as much of this as I can so I can use it on the side panels. This is where things are gonna start to get interesting. I have no idea if the, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out because this is like, a weird fiber material that has glue, resin, stuff all stuck to it. This one's gonna be interesting because I did not follow instructions. I mean, I think it'll work. We'll see when I go to brush all the excess off how much actually stays on there. Sometimes it's fun not to follow instructions because sometimes you can surprise yourself and have good results. This is only 10 minutes later and I'm running my finger over it and it's not coming off, so we shall see. I'm gonna get this stuff all over my clothes. You would be 100% correct if you said I was not doing this correctly. You're supposed to seal surfaces like this that are kind of porous before you apply this tape, paint, not tape, paint, glue <laughs> type stuff. That's what I name for it. Undercoating adhesion. Got all over my fingers. Anyway, I should be sealing this first before putting this stuff on there because this material is just gonna absorb this stuff and then the flock will have trouble bonding to it. But I didn't know that when I ordered the kit and I don't have anything to seal it with and I'm not wasting half a day going searching through stores to try to find something to do this with. So I'm just gonna send it. Cue that, cue that work music. Go. Uh, I'm getting ready to do my live stream here with you guys that you watched yesterday or whenever you watched it. I don't know when you're watching this video. Let there be teeter tot. Open sesame. What do you guys think? I think it's close enough. Once I brush all the excess fibers off, I think it's uh, I think it's good enough. We're gonna call that good enough. Now I just gotta wait 10 to 15 hours before I can brush that off and install it in the car. I guess you'll have to wait till the next video now until I install those panels since I gotta sit 10 to 15 hours. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See you guys soon with another. Bye.